Thanks for joining me today as we're gonna make some paleo strawberry carrot cake. Now I had some carrots sitting in the cold room that were doing really well, but I had so many purple carrots and I thought to myself, what could I make today? And then I decided I was gonna make a carrot cake with purple carrots. Um, the first thing you wanna do is grate about two and a half cups of carrots. If you have more, then not a big deal. Here's some of the other ingredients you're gonna need, some almond flour, coconut flour, tapioca flour, baking soda, some ground ginger, and some cinnamon, and some raisins. You want some eggs as well, some apple cider vinegar and honey, some coconut oil, and some almond milk. I want to go ahead and put a one and a quarter cups of almond flour into a medium sized bowl and add a quarter cup of coconut flour and a quarter cup of tapioca flour. One teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and you're going to want to give that a good stir. And once that's all incorporated, then what you're gonna do is go ahead and add some raisins and mix that in too. And then you're gonna go ahead and add that two and a half cups of carrots. Give it all a really, really good stir until everything's incorporated. You're gonna wanna make a double boiler. I don't actually have one, so I just used a pot of water on the stove and then another pot that sort of fit on top of it. And what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna add some coconut oil, half a cup, and we're also gonna add some honey to this as well. We also want a half a cup of honey. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to make this so that the coconut oil um, melts and then the honey is gonna sort of melt in with it. Now, if you've got sort of a raw honey that's in a harder form, this is also a great time to add it because it's gonna soften up and liquefy for you. And then in another bowl, you're gonna add four eggs. Now what I should have done is put this directly into a stand mixer bowl. That's okay. We did it a little bit differently today. Give that a good stir. And then go ahead and add a quarter cup of almond milk, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of vanilla. I've got the really good stuff from Mexico. Give that a good stir. And then go ahead and add your dry ingredients. And you're gonna to wanna to just mix this and incorporate it all really well. And if I would have started in the stand mixer, this is where I would have been at but I just ended up throwing in the stand mixer anyway. Because what you wanna do is get it mixing and then add your honey and your coconut oil to the dry wet mix that we had made before and just incorporate everything all together. Now here's a hack that my son has come up with and I'm sure he's seen it somewhere, but it's to actually make a circle for the bottom of our cake pan. So just kind of watch and see what he does. You're actually gonna need two cake pans, but I only had one cake pan, so I'm actually gonna do this twice. This is the first time that we did it here. We're gonna just oil up our cake pan with our parchment paper in the bottom so that it just pops out really nice and easy. And you're gonna to wanna to use half of your mixture. Now, because I used purple carrots, this is a really deep, dark, purpley brown color. If you choose to use regular carrots, you're more than welcome to do that too, and it won't be quite the same color that we see here. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and bake this for 25 minutes in our preheated 350 degree oven. And we're gonna go and move on to our icing. So our icing, we're gonna use this coconut milk and it's the premium stuff. You wanna be able to get coconut milk that hardens up on the top and there's liquid in the bottom and you can you put it in the fridge to make it harder but you'll see once you take all the hard stuff out the liquid stays and you're not going to be using any of this it'll just make it too runny so go ahead and put your coconut milk into your stand mixer and we're going to add one teaspoon of that vanilla again i sometimes just eyeball it go ahead and turn that on and we're going to give it a really really good mix to incorporate all that and make it fluffy it's gonna fluff up really nice just like a typical icing you'll actually be surprised so next we're gonna take some strawberries about five to seven strawberries and stick them on the stove and we're gonna cook them down just a little bit and they're gonna just soften right up for us and put those aside and cool down and then we're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of honey now when I actually made this video, I didn't quite add that amount, but then it, we ended up making it that quarter cup. You're going to find that the quarter cup works really well, but you can do this where you put some in and test it to see the level of sweetness that you really want. Go ahead and give that a really good stir. So next you're going to take your strawberries once they've cooled. You can see mine haven't really cooled down here. And you're going to want to put them into some sort of blender. I've got a little Vitamix blender here and it does a really great job of just pureeing this right up for me. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and add that to your coconut cream icing that you've got going on. Uh, you're going to end up adding about a half a cup, but you can eyeball it and taste it to see if it's the flavor that you want as well. And once you've got it all beautifully blended in there, we're gonna go ahead and start icing our cakes. You're gonna use about half of this on the first cake. Um, once your cakes are cooled down, you're gonna wanna make sure they're really, really cool. And if they're not, maybe put them in the freezer. Putting them in the freezer for a little bit actually helps them harden up and makes it easier to ice them. You wanna go ahead and put on the plate that you're gonna eventually serve it on and throw some of your icing on there. Once you've got your first layer of icing, you can actually add some other things like cherries in the middle or strawberries, and then go ahead and put on your second layer. Ice that up really good too. And again, once you've got this one all iced, you can choose whatever sort of toppings you want to put on this. You could choose strawberries or raspberries, cherries, you name it. And it's just one of the most spectacular cakes I've ever had. Our kids will eat this entire thing. Nothing will be wasted. The icing is so soft and smooth that it's not one of those icings that they just push to the sides. It's absolutely brilliant. If you've made this cake and it worked out really well for you, I'd love to hear about it. Throw some comments in the section below. And thanks for popping by. I look forward to seeing you again soon.